First on 6 at 5 o'clock, two people are in custody this evening for the weekend murder of a popular Henrietta businessman. The sheriff's office says it was Lynn Rogers' girlfriend and the man she was having an affair with who killed Rogers in his garage. News on 6 reporter Dan Buley says Henrietta is a community grieving and in shock. Lynn Rogers was never afraid of work, from toiling on his former father-in-law's truck to running his own business. And he was a hard-working rascal. He came and built this oil pit. This was a blank piece of property when he bought it 14, 15 years ago. Carl Dickey and Rogers remained close, even after Rogers divorced Dickey's daughter. Dickey even placed this wreath on the oil pit's door, and he can't believe he lost a friend. It was devastating. I could not handle it. Rogers was found shot to death in the garage of his rural Okmulgee County home this weekend. The sheriff's office says his girlfriend reported finding his body when she got home. But as investigators looked deeper, they zeroed in on Denise Groff and the man she was having an affair with. John Burgess. They say Burgess shot Rogers three times with a 38 caliber pistol. Investigators aren't saying much about a motive, just a press release that indicated sex, drugs, and greed. But at a press conference, the sheriff wouldn't elaborate, only saying that Rogers wasn't involved in any of it. His friends say Rogers and Groff had been dating for close to five years. They also say she didn't make a good impression. My wife, she didn't like her. She didn't care for her at all. And you? Uh, you know, I tolerated her. Uh, everybody I talked to that knew her said that uh, she, you know, said she could have a dark side. Dickey believes, regardless of his opinion of her, Groff couldn't have planned the shooting and feels her friend may have been the mastermind. The lady was not smart enough to pull off anything like this anyway. And I, I don't care if she knows what I said. Investigators did recover a large sum of money taken from Roger's home. Meanwhile, Burgess is being held on a charge of first-degree murder and Groff on conspiracy to commit murder and accessory after the fact. In Okmulgee, Dan Buley, The News on 6.